Pasta chefs have been using their noodles for centuries. It would take almost that long to cook your way through all the various shapes and varieties. Faith Saley offers us a sampling. Pasta. Delicious. Ubiquitous. Groovy. In the world of pasta, it's a kind of a mirror world. It's the other side of the, the looking glass. Everything is absolutely groovy. This one is called capelletti, little hats. Architect Georges Legendre finds pasta's curves a delicious departure from the right angles of the everyday world. If you compare it to the built environment, everything's squarish, more or less, you know, the tables, the chairs, the buildings. He says one of life's simplest foods is far more complex than most of us realize. I find that a lot of the shapes have amazingly beautiful diagrams, you might call them, which might inspire you into designing, say, a spiraling museum ramp which is as beautiful in a way as, say, trottole. Very well designed to accommodate sauces because it's tubular. Legendre spent two with... years collecting and organizing every type of pasta he could find, 92 different shapes, and captured them all in a book called Pasta by Design. We use mathematics to design buildings. You know, we've done a bridge, we've done artwork, and now we've done pasta. Each fold is sort of lovingly designed. Using computer programs, he describes the design and shape of pastas you might have heard of, like, say, spaghetti, to those you certainly haven't. Take the fisarmonice, named after the Italian word for accordion, or the strozzapretti, Italian for priest strangler. It's really just trigonometry. One of the crazy things about this project um, mathematically speaking, is that everything is done with two functions. For Legendre, the mathematical functions sine and cosine cook up a pretty interesting recipe in terms of design. I would say the invisible mathematics of pasta are absolutely staggering because they deal with so dynamic things that we can't even fathom. Air flows, pressure, temperature. I mean, these are things that are very, very abstract. And if all of this seems a little rich, the design of pasta really does matter, says Jacob Kennedy, London chef and author of The Geometry of Pasta. Does a different shape of pasta have a different taste? Different shapes of pasta will interact differently, in particular with their sauce, and they will give you a different experience. Tortellini, for example, are lovely in a creamy sauce that can coat them. They've got a lot of nooks and crannies for the sauce to fill, and you can really feel the shape with your tongue kind of as you're eating it. Tortellini, legend has it, was modeled after a certain anatomical feature of one of the most famous women of the Italian Renaissance, Lucrezia Borgia. The tale is that uh, Lucrezia Borgia stops overnight for a romantic tryst in, a, in an inn and the innkeeper was a bit besotted with her and he went up to snoop at her room and he looked through the, through the keyhole and all he could see was, a, was her navel. So he ran downstairs <laughs> and made a pasta in its shape so he could That's remember it. That's fantastic! So the next time you're savoring your spaghettini, Take a moment to digest its design. It is a miracle of simplicity and complexity that, that happens every day.